of these dudes that's in the damn prison system, okay? I was on TikTok last night and I. Uh, no. But that's just how messed up these women are. I ran across a live. It was like four dudes that was in the feds. Um, so I just tapped in to be nosy to see what they were talking about. Do y'all know it's like it was thousands of girls on there, like being so fucking thirsty, asking these locked up dudes, "Oh, what's your JPay? I want to see you some money. I want to come see you. I want to be your pen pal." Like, has a dating pool become that fucking bad that we gotta reach out to niggas that's locked up? No, you guys just are in love with the idea of a locked up man who's black, unfortunately. You see. Someone who doesn't look like us told us what black women should like and put it on TV in front of black women, and this is how black women are different. And then black women said, yes, we want men who are locked up. It was one thing when we were getting locked up for doing civil rights and stuff like that. Uh, nowadays, the way this is happening, no. These women cherish and love black men who are in ultimatums and locked up. They love them. Now, there could be this branch possibility that it's people who don't like us who are doing this uh, simply to make it, but the number's too great. I don't think the government will waste taxpayer dollars to make this look like this, but it doesn't feel like a bad on me. Jailbirds <laughs> are up. Pimpow. Pimpow. What? what? That's wild. And don't be mad at me. I'm just saying. I guess they loving the jail talk right now. I don't know. It's working. Whatever they saying and whatever they doing, it's working. Every other female I know is dealing with some dude in prison. I don't know. Then that means you're next. That means you're next. You're hanging with the right crowd. See, they keep doing this where they keep putting it on black men. And this is why Kevin Samuels was the GOAT because he stopped and realized that this game of breaking rank, he would still call out men on their bullshit, but this game of women breaking rank and trying to make men, uh, black men accountable was destructive and was eventually going to reach his level. That's why he's a GOAT. Because these black women who, who, who say, oh, y'all need to step your game, y'all need, they, they're dysfunctional. They want you to follow them in a Femi Patel death style confusion to your death. Like a, like a siren killing you. But it, it, the death is not physical. The death is spiritual. Women do not respect men that they change. So if you ch so all these fake men who sack their pants and they want to act hood so that they can get a woman, no. In reality, these women have nothing to offer and they're fucked out. So the only thing they can do is make you feel accountable as a man using the weight and rhetoric and leverage of people don't look like us and the people who are in the community made these decisions but they're stuck in ultimatums or they're traumatized 